welcome back and thanks for joining me. Hope everybody's been out doing plenty of fishing and staying out of trouble. Now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a wee duck fly pattern. That's the wee bring the camera, that's the wee the wee pattern here. Now it's a good wee fly this. Especially if you fish uh, the legs of lock or um or any of the the Irish locks. Now what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna start off with uh UTC thread, uh ultra thread and seventy in black. The hook in the vase is a Amazon B175 size 10. I'm just going to start the thread a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to work the, the thread down until I'm sort of way at the bend of the, the hook and remove the waist tag. The tag at the back of the fly is going to be in the Omarage tinsel, and this is the Omarage tinsel in large. I'm going to take a couple of passes with this. So I usually take three to four turns down the bend of the hook and then three to four turns back up to meet the thread. Just cross your thread over, get a couple of tight turns in to secure that in. And then you can come in and trim away the excess. And I'm just going to advance the thread forward. Just the where I started. The rib on the fly is going to be a, an ultra wire in silver and small. So I'm just going to length this off. I'll just catch this in on the way back down. Now, the reason why I'm using the UTC thread for the body, it just makes the the tang over a wee bit quicker and if you don't have uh, a black floss it's always handy to have the, the UTC thread in your kit. I'm just going to work the thread back up then I'm going to come up with five to six turns of the silver wire following this around Nice tight turns to catch in the wire now, just to help protect the body. And then bend and break away the wire. Bring my thread back down just to where we finished the rib. Now at this point I'm just going to put on a very small amount, a very sparse amount of uh, red SLF. Just as a wee throat. Just a wee highlight now if you don't want to, or you don't have or want to use the SLF. Just use um, holographic red tinsel, something like that, or olive. It's, this wee fly is good tied as a with olive as the wee highlight. Uh, just whip finished off the UTC thread. I'm just coming in with the uni eight o to finish off. And the reason why I'm doing that is the round, it's a rounder th thread, and I just like the finish with a rounder thread. I'm just going to come in and bring out some of the, the red SLF just into the wee dressing. Now the wing, you need to rake the left, okay, and this is just duck quill that has been bleached. So, let's get my dubbing needle, I'll just come in, and all you're looking, just see if I can do this on camera. It's just slips, don't go too wide, just small slips. And if you do go wide, don't worry, you can always reduce. But you're just looking a couple of small slips. And see, once you get into tannies, you'll get into the rhythm of knowing the, the breadth of the, the slip that you want and need. Don't be shying away from tanning these types of flies with the feather wings if you're, you're new to tan. Or you just took up the the wee hobby, just be patient and it will come to you if you put the hours of uh, practice in. Now, just got my two slips. I'm just getting them, want them to sit right for me here. So just taking my time. Now I just want the tips just to come under the bend. Now, you can have it shorter, you can have it there and have it really like a smallish sparse wing, that's up to you. 
So the way you like to dress them and fish them, I'm just going to come around and just hold the wings, then just come around with a pinching loop and a couple of tight turns, slide the fingers back just to see what way we're sitting. Now, nothing set in stone, you can always take them, take it off, just going to have a wee check just to see. Yeah, that's good enough for a fishing fly. Now, you just come in, just grab the, the ends, trim those away. Just come in and gently hold your wing and then bring your thread down over the cut ends and then back up. Now, don't get too hung up on this wing, guys. You know, once you start casting this, it, it's, it's going to go out of shape. So, I'm going to put a wee haggle on the front. And this is just a wee cheap Indian uh, hand cape, it's been dyed black. So, just select a, a wee haggle here. Just stroking back the, the fibres to reveal the tip. Offer this up to the hook, two turns to catch the tip in. I'm going to fold the, the tip back. Just bring my thread turns back up over the tip on the haggle. Come in and locate the tip, break that away. And the turns of haggle here are just entirely up to you at the front. I usually put on a turn and a half, maybe two, just, just so the way it depends. Now, that's one of the plan either for me. So I'm just going to turn the half, just bring them with holding the haggle, bring in the thread up into the stem. So I'll just show you. So see if I can. Don't think I can get this on camera, but if you just if you hold your haggle nice and tight, that's that's the haggle on. Then just bring your thread up into the stem, nice and tight. That catches it in. Then take one more turn. That's it secured in. Now for belts and braces, just come in and just sweep everything back. Just hold it nice and tight. Your thread's ready at the eye. And then just build your head up to the size that you like. And don't be shy with the size of a head on a fly. Just nice and tight with the thread turns. Now, keeping your thread tight. It's really tight. Grab your stem, you can break that away. Don't ever let the thread go, keep it tight. And then just come straight in with your whip finishing tool. And throw in a whip finish. And that's your wee fly complete. Eh. Just going to hold the wing just to bring out the, the hackles, just to let you see it. But it will go out of shape, there, of that there's no doubt. Eh. Just going to come in with a wee drop of super glue. Just at the head. Just as the first coat. I'll just do this the whole way right round. Just taking care not to touch the the hand haggle. But there you go guys. That's just a wee duck fly pattern. And that's nothing to it. And like I say, there's some guys that'll probably watch the channel that are probably better at me than tan flies, but if you're new to fly tan, don't shy away from tan feathered wings. There, once you get into the swing of it, you know you'll be able to tell the the crack size and measurement, the slips that you need. And if you just go, if you go too much and it's too broad, just put them down your table, measure them up, and take a couple of fibers away. So look, guys, hopefully you have got something from that. Um, hope everybody's having a a cracking start to the 2022 fishing season. Um, so as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video, I really appreciate it. If you like the wee videos that I'm putting together and you're maybe new to the channel, new to seeing the videos, please consider subscribing. And until next time guys, please stay safe and tie lines.